If you love soup as much as I do, or just hate being cold as much as I do, keep watching. Hi, my name is Kim and I am on the WW Personal Points Plan. I have followed Weight Watchers as part of my journey to lose 100 pounds and keep it off. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you four delicious soup recipes, including two, two zero point soup recipes to help you stay on track this winter and just warm up and then enjoy something cozy. If you are new here, be sure to hit that red subscribe button Turn on that notification bell so you never miss a video and give this video a big thumbs up. For our first soup recipe, we are going like fancy, fancy with a recipe I saw in the New York Times newsletter. And this is a creamy cauliflower, potato, white bean soup that you do in the slow cooker. So it's just like a prep and dump and slow cooker, slow cooker. And so I'm gonna start prepping those ingredients to get that started. For this recipe, we are going to need one pound of Yukon Gold potatoes. And just to make this easier on myself, I am making some substitutions, which may or may not make it like a little less fancy, but we'll just call it rustic then. It's a rustic soup. So I just have some traditional potatoes. You're also going to need one pound of cauliflower. You're gonna need two cans of white cannellini beans rinsed and drained. You're gonna need some garlic because garlic makes everything taste better. Three cloves of that. You're also gonna need garlic powder and the recipe calls for fresh thyme. I'm gonna use dried because that's just a little more cost effective. And if I bought real thyme, like I'd probably make this recipe and nothing and then just throw it away. I do not have room in my fridge <laughs> to keep things like that. The recipe calls for white wine and vegetable stock. I'm just going with chicken stock and then it does call for butter. We're gonna make a like last minute game day decision as to whether we add the butter because I'm sure it will taste delicious but it calls for three tablespoons and that could really change the point value. we have one of the most basic WW recipes and that is the zero point soup. Woohoo! So zero point soup has been a staple since I joined Weight Watchers like millennia ago. So we need for this soup uh, some chicken stock. Now I am going to deviate from the recipe I'm kind of referring to. So chicken stock I'm gonna add a can of diced tomatoes. You'll see why. You'll need garlic because garlic makes everything taste better. We know this, right? Zucchini. Ooh, where to go, where to go? We need onion. I take a total shortcut. Now, depending on your zero point foods, this would add points. So just kind of look at it at your discretion. I buy the soup ready, meal ready mixed vegetables, which has green beans, carrots, and corn. The recipe calls for just green beans and carrots. So another option, I'm debating. I have this Prince Edward medley from Aldi. I'm not sure about wax beans in a soup, but this would be perfect for what we're doing. And then you need cabbage. Now just wait one second while I get our star ingredient. Drum roll, please. V8. So I don't know that V8 is technically zero points, but you're in my world and in my world for this application V8, I am sorry, Yeti is playing with bowl. Anyway, this is 
zero points. And this is how my grandma made her vegetable soup, which was like, there's just nothing like grandma's vegetable soup. She used those frozen veggies and she would actually use like the old school can of V8 and it just gives it so much flavor. So instead of using tomato paste, which is what the recipe called for, I love some chunks of tomato in my soup, I'm just not gonna lie. And then we're gonna add like some great flavor to that stock with the V8. So I'm gonna get started by chopping up my onion, garlic, and zucchini, but there's not really a ton to do for this recipe. And this will be one that I definitely freeze and potentially share with my mother-in-law, depending on how much I like her this day. We're gonna start by actually chopping up this onion and our garlic, and we're gonna saute that up in my giant soup pot with um, some nonstick cooking spray. So go me for remembering to include that in my quick list. Um, so we're gonna get this chopped up. And I love, love, love to eat this soup, you know, with a salad for lunch, with a grilled cheese. And honestly, in place of a salad, while I'm making dinner, if I'm feeling particularly like snacky or hungry, and it's just nice to have on hand, especially like if you just feel like you missed your grandma or feel like you need a taste of home. Okay, I'm gonna have to work a little harder to get the garlic out of that pouch. All right, we got the garlic and onion saute and we're gonna saute, saute. We're gonna get this zucchini chopped. Super easy. And I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants with this one. Like the recipe might call for half a cup. I'm just gonna go for this whole zucchini, making a mess as I do it, I know. And then the next thing we need to do is just cut up some cabbage and it's two cups. That is the one vegetable in this that I will like be mindful to not add like the whole head of cabbage. <laughs> and talked to you for about two minutes and did not film. But what you missed is when I dumped the basil straight into the pot. So a little recap, we added our cabbage. I did the Prince Edward mix. So I picked out the wax beans and then added the green beans and carrots because I did notice that that mixed vegetable frozen package had peas. And those are definitely points. You just gotta keep it honest, especially like so close to the new year. A Little bit of time as well. I added my can of diced tomatoes, my bottle of V8. This is just a 12 fluid ounce bottle. I didn't want to buy something humongous. And then one quart of chicken broth. Next up is a soup that I am super excited to make because it's based on one of my favorite childhood meals that no one in my house eats now, stuffed peppers. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love, well, I loved it when my mom would make stuffed peppers and she would put rice and cheese. Oh, cheese, melted cheese on anything. I mean, just a moment of silence for melted cheese. Okay, so stuffed pepper soup. So good, all those favorite flavors. So the tomato, rice, the green peppers, and the meat. So how are we making this zero points? Well, first we're subbing cauliflower rice for the regular rice. And then we are subbing extra lean ground turkey for the meat. And then the other things that you are gonna need on hand, an onion, you're also gonna need oregano and basil. I think I'm out of oregano, I didn't see it in there. So I'm just gonna use some Italian seasoning, garlic, two cans of fire roasted tomatoes, the recipe I am using, which everything will be linked in the description box, the description box down below, chicken broth. The recipe calls for beef broth, but because we're using turkey, I'm going that way. And I'm pretty sure beef broth is points. Did I say green peppers? Because you need green peppers. Now the recipe also said one red pepper, one green, but I like green peppers. And then a can of tomato sauce. So we need to get our ground, 
we need to get our ground turkey cooking and then our onion, garlic, and our peppers chopped. But this should come together super, super quick. <music> soup I'm making my own rolls if anyone's surprised so I browned or cooked my ground turkey with the onions garlic and seasoning I'm gonna add my diced up green peppers and give those a chance to soften up there's still some pink in the ground turkey so we're not overcooking the meat and then in just about a few minutes I'll add the broth which is about one and a half to two cups depending on your preference and all the tomato products and we're just gonna let that simmer and then kind of last minute, I believe, add that cauliflower rice. I am trying to show you what this looks like and it's hard to get a crisp video because it is steaming up, but here's what our vegetable soup looks like. <laughs> So my white bean cauliflower and potato soup is still the crock pot, but I am going to take these soups down to the basement, some in the freezer, some in the fridge, but we are meal prepped and ready to go. Okay, it's been eight hours plus. That's my coffee warming up. But our white bean cauliflower potato soup is all done. And the next step is to put it in the blender. So I have a Ninja blender and I'm going to find a ladle. Actually, it's in the dishwasher. It's that kind of day, people. So we're gonna puree this. It might be in a couple batches. Now the next step would also be to add a little lemon juice and eight ounces of sour cream. I'm gonna be using non-fat Greek yogurt to keep this low in points. <laughs> ton of soup so I have this amazing pampered chef like pancake mixing bowl and it is filled to the brim and I think there's still some left in the blender but I'm gonna give this a little taste that is so good oh that is so good oh my gosh this is definitely a must make recipe because you got just like good protein, you got some vegetables. Okay, I'm the only one eating this. We're gonna taste it one more time. Like it is just so silky and velvety. Oh, that is so good. For our final soup recipe, I am not gonna make it. I am super sorry, except I'm not. But I always want you to remember that one of the easiest soups to make and almost the most satisfying is a good tomato soup and I'm going to be linking one of my favorite recipes down below and that is a three ingredient tomato soup and it's basically just onions, tomatoes, you can add a little chicken broth, I love to add roasted garlic, you know it's just super super simple to make and you can flavor it any way you like but Mark loves it when I make this tomato soup and one of the other things that is great about it is it's all pantry staples because you're not buying fresh tomatoes. You're not going to a lot of work. 
it's literally a can of crushed tomatoes, which I always have, some chicken broth, which I always have. You can add in some non-fat Greek yogurt if that is a zero point food for you. But again, these soups are such a great way to get in veggies and make meal prep super, super simple. Thank you for cooking these delicious soups with me and meal prepping. If you like this kind of video and you have not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that red button, turn on your notifications and hit a like just because, just because. And until next time, do something you love.